Hi everyone, welcome to Outfield Electronics. This project is all about real-time position monitoring system. This is the L86 GPS model from Quicktel. We'll use this GPS model with NodeMCU ESP8266 board. Instead of Quicktel L86 GPS module, you can also use Neo 6M GPS module or any other similar GPS module. Using the tiny GPS library, will determine the latitude, longitude, speed, bearing, as well as the location on map. We will send all these parameters to Blink application and monitor the real-time data along with the map on Blink dashboard. The Blink dashboard will show your real-time location in Google Maps. So without getting any further delay, let's get started. Do you want professional PCB like this one that looks so good? Then use the services of Next PCB. You can select the board size, any shoulder color marks that you want, including something like red and green. You can select the thickness, and the PCB could be from 2 to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good, and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com, then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cardboard file and order now and receive the PCB in couple of days. Welcome back again. This is Quicktel L86 GPS module which has an ultra compact design and low power demands. The patch antenna comes attached to this module and is inbuilt with GPS sensor. Due to high precision and high sensitivity, this module is suitable for a broad range of IoT applications. The module is a SMD module, so I soldered a pair of 6 pin mail holder on both the sides. Now the model becomes breadboard friendly and can be easily placed on the breadboard. It has 12 pins, but for our applications, we'll be only using 5 pins. This is the Node MCU ESP8266 12E board. The board has the Wi-Fi capability and can connect to the Wi-Fi network to post data on server. Here is a connection diagram between GPS module and ESP8266. The RX pin and TX pin connects to the D1 and D2 of Node MCU. The VCC connects to 3.3V and GND to GND. Also connect V backup pin to 3.3V as this is required to keep the module working all the time. I used jumper wires and connected the GPS module directly with the Node MCU board. Now go to your smartphone play store and search for Blink application. Download the old Blink app. Once installed, open the application. Now either create an account or log in using your old credentials. Now click on new project and give any name to the project. Then select device as ESP8266. Select dark or light theme. I like light theme. Then click on create. So a new project is created. An authentication token has been sent to the register mail address. You can check the token in mail. This token is required in the code part. Coming back to the blink part, we need to add widgets now. So click on plus sign and add value display. Give its name at latitude, select virtual pin as B1, enable reading rate as 1 second. Then go back and again add another widget set value display. Give name as longitude and select virtual pin as B2. Enable reading rate as 1 second. Go back again. Now add remaining 3 widgets as same as the previous two. The remaining three widgets are satellite, speed, and bearing. When adding all this is finished, we need to add map as well, which is the most important part of the project. From here, select map and assign virtual pin B0 as widget pin value. Then enable show my location part only. Finally, your blink setup is complete. Now let's move to the coding part. We need to add two libraries to this project. The first one is Tiny GPS library and the second one is Blink ESP8266 library. We'll use software serial to interface GPS module with ESP and assign RX and TX pin as 4 and 5. Here, B0 is the widget assigned for the map. In this line, 
change the blink authentication token you got in the mail. Also change the Wi-Fi SSID and password from here. In the loop part, using some library function, we'll retrieve the total number of satellite, latitude, longitude, velocity, and bearing. We'll then print the same parameter on serial monitor. Then using the blink function, we'll send the GPS value to blink application dashboard. Now go to the tools menu, select node MCU 1.0 board from the list. Then select the COM port. Then hit the upload button to upload the code. After code get uploaded, open the serial monitor. The node MC will try connecting to the Wi-Fi network. Once connected, it will try to get location from satellite. It might take time to retrieve location based on your indoor-outdoor conditions. Once it retrieves satellite data, it will display the latitude, longitude, speed, bearing, and number of satellite it is connected. Now, you can open your Blink app and click on the play button at the top right corner. So the Blink app is receiving data now. It shows the latitude and longitude coordinate. It is also connected to 8 satellite. The speed is something like 1.48 km per hour and the direction of travel is east. Apart from all this, the GPS location can also be seen in Google Maps here. Just zoom in and zoom out to see where the GPS is located. You can now take the GPS device and put it on your vehicle or any asset to track the location in real time. The tracker should also be connected to Wi-Fi network all the time. As you can see, I am currently in Kathmandu, Nepal, so my location is displayed here. So just by using the Blink app, you can monitor the live location or any target. The complete details of this project has been uploaded on website of How to Electronics. You can get the purchase link, data sheets, source code, program, and all the details on this site. In case you have still any questions, comment down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.